Let's use a keyboard. Wazd. Alright, that's all I need. Cool. Wazd, space, and Q. Cool. Let's just jump into this, shall we? <clears throat> it was like the last time. Only this time, it started in a hospital. Let me know if I need to turn the music down, by the way. Looks like something's there, but it's too dark to see. Light switch. It's locked. Oh, that's a... It's a key! Okay, I found a key. Let's just leave. I don't know what I'm doing. D. <laughs> I'm just wandering right now. <laughs> um... M. Okay, did not like that. Let's do C. It did not like that either. <laughs> what? Are you mad that I didn't answer the phone? I don't know what I'm doing. B. Does not like that either. <laughs> Should I restart and answer the phone? I have no idea what I'm doing. <clears throat> Hello? It's okay, Sal. Everything's going to be okay now. Come and see. Who is this? Sal, come find me. Weird. Sounded like my death. Okay. Now am I allowed to continue? But I break things. That's my job. E. Damn it. F. Damn it. H. Dog. We spelt the dog. Okay. Or was it God backwards? Okay, can't do anything with that. Hey, look, it's a doggy. Who's a good doggy? Who's a good boy? I buried her alive, kid. You tell me. Huh? Go see for yourself. And the dog's gone. Diana Fisher. Beloved mother. Wife. Let's just crawl down into the shallow grave, shall we? And that's no longer a shallow grave. It's locked. Passcode? Fuck if I know. Perfect. Figured it out. <laughs> Dad? <laughs> you are not my son. My son is not a murderer. 
Oh, apparently Dad's just, uh... No, that's the word I'm looking for. It's just an outline in the wall. This is your fault. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Mum? Are you... And that's when I woke up. Hmm, yes, it's an interesting dream. I think we should come back to that dream later, but for now, can you tell me more about the body? Which one? The second one, the one from the apartment. Dad and I had just moved in. I had a weird feeling about the place right away. Well, at least I can play with one hand. Episode 1. Strange Neighbors! This is our- this will be our new beginning. We can finally leave what happened in New Jersey behind us now. Why don't you go explore the building and make some friends while I finish unpacking. Just some stuff dead got from the store. Nothing important. Okay. Bags checked. Bathroom. Sleep aid. Dad still has trouble sleeping at night after. Okay. Sleepy pills. That's the front door. Sal's room. Gizmo? I see you've made yourself at home, Gizmo. Must be nice. Kitty! Hello. I was wondering where that was. I just gotta push all the buttons, apparently. I didn't even know I could do that. <laughs> Dad's room. Hey, get out so I take a break from unpacking. That's not a bad idea. We've been at it for a while now. S slap all the things. Maybe I'll take a break myself. What do you think about this place? It may not be as nice as our old house, but we'll make the best of things. As long as we have each other, I think we can make a real home here. I miss Jersey. I know you do, bud. Please try to give it a chance. School will start in a couple weeks and then you'll be able to make all the new friends. Yeah, I guess so. I know so. Anyone would be lucky to have you as a friend, Sal. Thanks, Dad. Mm -hmm. I, I miss Mom. Yeah, me too, buddy. Me too. Bye! Try not to get into too much trouble. There's a quarter behind you, Dad. I would like it. Dead. No? Okay. I want the quarter still. I will be back. For the quarter. It's free money. Why wouldn't you want free money? Splap. I am splapping. No splapping. Oh, that's just the sleep aid. No splapping the sleep aid. Nope. Don't care about that. Splap the oven. No splapping. I guess we're done here. I can't see anything else we can interact with. And as of right now, I can't go up or down, so... No one's home. What a shame! Hello? Why are you standing here? I'm protecting nosy little freaks like you from seeing what they ought not see. Now scrap, I don't get paid to babysit. Who are you? I'm your fairy fucking god, mother. What does it look like? I'm an officer of the law, so you better show me some respect. Respect my authority! What happened in that room? Police business, kid. Why don't you run back to your parents? I wish I could. 
What was that, wise ass? Nothing. That's what I thought. Stupid weirdo kid. No respect to my motherfucking authority. Authority. We're on four. Let's go to five. This floor is currently being renovated. Please make your way to the nearest exit. Okay. Oh, it's locked. Oh, it's locked. Huh? There's a small hole here. I can't really see anything on the other side. I'm gonna pretend I did not see that. Still locked. Spoopies. Spoopy poopies. Locked. Oh, this one's on. Hello. Sorry, I didn't think anyone lived up here. Hello, sir. Are, are you okay? You shouldn't have come here. I'm sorry, I was just trying to get to know my new neighbors in a dark place. This building, horrible things happen. Are you sure you're okay? What the? Hello? 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 Sir? That's where the bathroom door is locked, and there are handprints, as if someone was getting dragged away. Anyway, continuing along. Hello? But there's a person over there! Stupid sign! Blocking me completely! Hello, Jehovah's Witness. No, okay. Hello. Oh my. Sorry, you just started me a little. You must be one of the new guys from VAR2, yeah? With all the excitement going on today, I haven't had a chance to stop in and say hi. Yeah, it's just me and my dad. My name's Sal. Pleasure to meet you, Sal. I'm Lisa. I take care of this place. Keep things up and running. So if you ever need help with anything, don't hesitate to ask, okay? Yeah, sure, thanks. Quite welcome. Hello, Jehovah's Witness? Hello? Yes? Who's there? Hello, I'm new in the building. I'd like to talk to you about Jesus Christ. Okay, come in. Oh, they invited us in. Oh, God. Hi, my name's Sal. I just moved in with my dad. Have you heard of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? <laughs> what the hell's with your face, kid? Oh, I know you are young teens. New generation of self-expression. I was young once myself. I get it. Just as long as you're not in a gang or anything. You're not in a gang, are you? No, no, it's nothing like that. Wonderful, well, I'm Charlie. Don't mess with myself, I'll be okay. I'm a collector, you see, I collect many things. These things are like my family, so if you mess with my collections, you're messing with my family. Got it? Yes, sir, not a problem. I won't be giving you any trouble, sir. Good to hear. Can I touch your stuff? Bask in the glory of my complete set of glitter ponies. Great accomplishment it is to have this full set. You can look all you want, but don't even think about touching them. What's a glitter pony? Oh god, he's having knob flashbacks. My god, child! Have you never seen my glitter pony's Rainbow Spectacular? It's only the greatest television show ever produced. It's got drama, action, romance, comedy, everything you could want. And the ponies, oh, the ponies, don't even get me started. Mm. Yeah. I guess I missed that one. I'll have to look for it on TV. Yes, you will. Trust me, you won't regret it. Nothing here, nothing here. Sir, do you bathe? Jesus Christ would not like to get to know you. Actually, hold on, can I look at this? No, that's just him. Anything else I can do here? No? 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 The power of Christ compels you to bathe. 
Hello? Do I have this witness? No one's home. Hello? Mm, guess no one's home. Hello? Hold on. Gotta look at Mario and Luigi. Oh yeah, they are Mario and Luigi, and there's Bowser too. That's cool. Let's see, I feel like the ones on the middle shelf are also a reference to something, but I'm just trying to figure out what it would be. A party hat turtle, a dark cloaked man with a sword, and a giant rat with cheese. Nothing. Yeah, I got nothing on those. The power of Christ compels you to bathe. Anyway, moving along. Jedi, Ninja Turtles. Uh, if it would have been Ninja Turtles, I would have assumed he would have had four of them. Jedi doesn't really make sense because it was just a regular katana-esque sword. At least I think so. Hello? Oh dear, what a frightful... <clears throat> Pardon me, let's start over. Hello, young sir, new resident of Addison Apartments, room 402. How may I be of service? How do you know who I am? I know all that. I know all that takes place within these walls, sir. You'll do good to remember that. Can I come in? Heavens no, I'm afraid I'm quite particular about my privacy. I'm sure you understand. Yeah, sure. Uh, goodbye. Farewell, friend. Jesus still loves you. Hello, Jarvis, wait there. No, oh, okay. Hello, sir. My uncle's name is Freddy. He's a ripper. And he gets you in your sleep. <laughs> What's going on? Hello, young man. You just moved in today, correct? Yes, sir. I already spoke with your father. Seems you two were out of state when everything happened last night. Story checks out. That's good. Try not to get in our way from now, okay? We're investigating a serious crime. What was, was it murder? Oh, I can't talk about that. Was it murder? I can't talk about that. Was it murder? I can't talk about that. Okay, goodbye. Everyone's so unfriendly. Why does everybody hate the Jehovah's Witness? Hello, Jehovah's Witness. No, okay. Hello, Jehovah's Witness. Yeah, what do you want? A little early for trick or treating, isn't it? Uh, stupid good for nothing, kids. Okay. You again. Why do you kids insist on keep making my life miserable? Please leave me alone. When will this torture end? Hello, rope salesman. Hello, suicide prevention hotline. She's friendly. Nope, nothing different. Goodbye! Nope. Let's see if we can seal that quarter now. No! Hey, get up. Okay, I missed something. Ah, something must have moved. Damn. Not him. So we technically haven't met everyone in 4-3. Yeah, I can't get to that other sign. Unless I have to talk to Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Hey, Sal. What's up? Ah. How long have you been working here? Actually, I don't just work here. I live here. I'm on call 24-7 for any urgent maintenance needs. Despite what you may hear from others, this is a lovely building. I'm happy to call it home. Going on ten years now. Mm, seems like a nice place. You betcha. What do others say about this building? Oh, all kinds of stuff, I'm sure. This building is well over a hundred years old, you know. 
People are always complaining about one thing or another. But you hear no complaints from me. I'm a woman of action. If I see a problem, I'll fix it. Yeah, most people do seem to complain a lot about the small things. You can't sweat the small stuff, Sal. It's just no way to live, you know? You're right. Take it from me. You focus on the good stuff. Focus on what makes you happy in this place. Put your energy into that. Okay. So do you know anything about what happened in 4-3? It's a shame you and your dad had this crummy first impression. I promise things aren't typically so gruesome around here. Poor Mrs. Sanderson. Who's Mrs. Sanderson? Oh, never mind. It's just the lady who was brutally murdered, chopped up, and put in the freezer in room 402. I mean, oh, never mind. That best not set your mind on such dreadful things. Is there anything to do for fun around here? You know what? I have a son around your age. I think you two would get along great. He's downstairs in our apartment. You should go introduce yourself. Sure, I'll go say hi. Great. His name's Larry. He'll be in the basement. Tell him I sent you down. I need car key to exit from the elevator, though. Here, take this one. I got a few extras. Cool, thanks. Is this building haunted? Sal, sweetie. I've been taking care of the Addison apartments for a long time, but I've never seen any ghosts or goblins. That's just people's overactive imaginations. Too much sweet and carry scary movies, if you ask me. Okay, bye. See you around. The power cries compels the caution wet floor sign. Move. Nobody respects the power of Christ. Gee, I sure am looking forward to using this. Not. Lots of tasty junk food. I'm not really hungry, though. Hello, power of Christ. Hello, power of Christ. What the hell was that? The power of Christ compels you. Nope. It's okay, the power of Christ scared him off. Hello? Power of Christ? No? No? Oh, okay. This looks like a fun room. We'll go panty rating first. Ah, oh, it's locked. The power of Christ? Jehovah's Witness! Yeah. Hey, uh, Larry? Your mom said I should come say hi. I just moved into 402. Oh, hey, come on in. Doors open, man. Whoa, nice mask, dude. Just that dead haunted eye. It's a prosthetic. Oh, shit. Sorry, man. It's cool. I'm used to much worse by now, so I'm glad you like it. So, do you, like, have no face under there? What, like, happened, dude? I'd rather not talk about that. Okay, change of subject. I'm Larry. I live down here with my mom. I'm Sal. My friends call me Sally Face. I just moved here with my dad from New Jersey. Sally Face? I guess I didn't really have any decent friends, to be honest. So once they started calling me that, I figured if I owned the name, then the assholes couldn't use it against me. You're a complicated dude, aren't you, Sal? You're pretty strange. I like you. We're gonna get along great. <sighs> That's what your mom said, too. <laughs> Mother knows best. Why do you live in the basement? My mom always says it's because we gotta guard the place from rats. I mean, I started off with a voice and then I kept looking at the thing and I'm just like... But I'm pretty sure she gets this room rent free with a maintenance gig. It's cool though, I don't mind it. I get to listen to music as loud as I want to when she's not around. Nice. Yeah, I haven't settled on a Sally face voice. I just can't figure out who Sal is in my head. And then I'll forget. <laughs> yeah, it's like my own little bat cave. I like your shirt. Thanks, it stands for Sally Face. <laughs> I do have my own clothing line, so. <laughs> it's actually from this metal band called Sanity's Fall. Do you like metal? 
I don't know. Oh, that's gotta change. Check out this song. It's their first single. The full album comes out in a few months. I kind of figured that was going to happen. Gotta get closer, man. Got a headbang. Yeah, SF, you getting it. Ugh. So what happened in 403? Shh, not so loud, man. You're going to ruin the vibe. What? What is it? The killer is still in the building. How do you know that? I saw it happen. Are you high right now? I wish I was, man. This was some scary shit. What happened? Okay, so I was helping Mrs. Sanderson with a clogged toilet. I was just finishing up when I heard him burst in, yelling like a lunatic. Oh, I know what you've done. Herman told me everything, you stupid bitch. She tried to calm him down before she could even get a few words out. He was cutting her throat wide open. I was shocked. I couldn't move. I was frozen by fear, man. Just peeking through the crack in the bathroom door. Anyway, it happened, fa it happened so fast, and then he cleaned up quickly and left. I don't know, man, but he didn't even see me. I haven't really told anyone yet, not even my mom, but I trust you. Do you know who did it? Yeah, it was definitely Charlie, big creeper from 204. He was wearing gloves, but I, so I don't think they got any prints or anything. Shouldn't you tell the cops? I actually tried to talk to that detective, but he wouldn't listen to me without some kind of evidence. Like, my word wasn't enough. Rumpf. What's up with the guy in 103? That's Mr. Addison. He owns this place. I don't think I've ever seen him leave his room. Always talks through his mail slot. He's an ice dude. Just real strange. Oh yeah. If you say Addison tea, please and thank you to him, he'll give you a cup of his famous tea. I hate this stuff myself, but the adults seem to love it. Whoops. Don't want to listen to you talk about Addison again. See ya. I feel like I switched from, like, Surfer Dude to, like, Valley Surfer Dude. What's this thing? That's a- it's this police skitter. I can listen in on local cop chatter. Yeah, I don't remember how it was going at first. It's gonna shift a lot between, like, Surfer Dude, Hippie, Valley Hippie, Valley Surfer. I don't know. How the hell did you get this thing? Stoner. That's a story for another day, but hey, you just gave me a great idea. If I make a fake call, maybe I can distract them long enough for you to sneak into 403. Maybe we can find some kind of evidence to show the detectives something they aren't looking for. Pretty quick to sign me up for the break-in. Well, I gotta make the call down here and I'm just messing with you. I'm totally up for this. I've been wanting to peek in that room anyways. Sweet. So what's the plan? I'll call in a bank robbery hostage situation that should clear out the cops for sure. I'm guessing that'll buy us a few minutes until they figure it out it wasn't real. You gotta be upstairs when I do that so we can make those minutes count. We can use my walkie talkies to communicate during the whole thing. Then I can give you a heads up too once I know the cops are coming back. Sounds pretty solid to me. Maybe just switch the bank robbery to armed robbery at a gas station or a drugstore. Make it a little more believable. Yeah, I guess you're right. Good call, Sally. Here, take this, head to your room, and let me know when you're ready. Just press that shift button there to call me. I like... <laughs> I like your paintings. Thanks, dude. It's like my passion. Oh my god, I feel like I've seen that dog before, and like those people standing around a grave. It like came to me in a dream or something, and there was this kid with bandages kind of just walking around, tripping out of his mind. 
Dude. I was just like, high on life, and I just, I had to capture the essence. Anyway. Panty red. Oh, huh. I would like some tea. Hello, young sir. I'm heavy of service. Had some tea, please and thank you. Yes, coming right up. <laughs> there you are, sir. Please enjoy. Thank you. Definitely not drinking this stuff. What's the gear boy used for? Looks like it needs new batteries, though. Roger, Roger, I'm in my room now. Over. <laughs> All right, dude, let's do this. I'm gonna make the call. Give me like a second. Over. <sighs> okay, it's done. I heard a bunch of hustling upstairs, so I think it worked. Go see if you can get into 403 now. Dun dun. There's a broken coffee table with some books. Look like anything important? Looks like junk to me. Alright, keep looking then. There's gotta be something else. Man, this is pretty twisted. Tell me. Tell me about it. There's these little figures. Looks like one is missing. I can see a small clearing in the blood. That's it! I know how we can get him. Get out of there and come back down to the basement. Sanderson and Charlie both collected those weird toys. They're nuts over those things. Mrs. Sanderson got this super rare one or something. She was telling me about it that day I was fixing her toilet. Anyways, I bet you Charlie couldn't resist taking it. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if that's why he offed her in the first place. That dude always did give me the creeps. That's just something unsettling about him, you know? Wow, this is crazy. This guy definitely needs to get caught. We can't live in a building with a murderer. Exactly. That's why you gotta get into Charlie's room and see if you can find that toy. Wait, why don't I have to do it? I snuck into 403. Charlie isn't too fond of me. There's no way he'd let me in. He accused me of stealing snacks from his room. Snacks! Fucking fatty! Just because I was toked out of my mind and had the munchies didn't mean I ate his ultra rare collection of cheesy poofs. Even though I had cheesy poof dust on my fingers didn't mean I actually was the one who ate them. He also had cheesy poof dust on him. <laughs> All right, all right, I'll do it. Won't be able to sleep at night otherwise. Cool, you're the man, Sally. Here, take this baggie. You can slip the toy in without touching it. Why do I get a feeling you've done this before? Haha, <laughs> nah. I just watch way too much TV. Unless it's munchies. I've stolen a lot of munchies, dude. <laughs> What do I feel like I'm just being- I'm just helping him steal something from this dude? Uh, he's in three. Nope, he's in two. I lied! Nope, power of Christ. So... Yep, I know. You're speechless because you've never seen such an awesome collection! Yeah... Don't worry, anytime I'm home you can stop by and take it all in. Nice place you got. It's my own chunk of heaven, just me and my stuff. Do you live here alone? 
And then I don't look around you. I have all the company I could ever need. Well, it is nice to have a visitor from time to time, I suppose. I'll be right back. Oh, is that Addison, Addison tea I smell? Yeah, I just got some from... Oh, I just love Addison tea. Give it here. Oh my god. What are those lips? Ah, oh, so tasty. So relaxing. Ah. Uh, must have dozed off there a second. I hope you weren't thinking of touching my ponies while I was sleeping, Sal. I was starting to like you. One dream of it, Charlie. Good, good. I'm glad. Say, get any more Addison tea. I would love some more. Mr. Addison already cut me off for the day. We're gonna drag up a dude, 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 dude. Addison T, please, thank you. Who likes drugs? Take some drugs, do, 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 do. Take some drugs, do, 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 do. This will knock that fat bastard out for sure. Yeah. Hopefully this was worth it. Hey dad, can I have that quarter? Are you referring to me or Sally? Oh. At least he's trying now. Not drowning himself in booze and not giving up on life. On me. Hey, a quarter! Score! Uh, he pretty sure he just passed out on booze, bruh. Bruh, we're rich! Uh, I got the munchies! We gotta go get us! Mm, I'm still not really hungry. Oh, I better hang on. Darn it. Power of Christ! No? Okay. Got another cup from Addison. As much as I love that stuff, I don't know if I can drink another drop today, as surprising as that sounds. Really? But it's fresh, nice, and hot. Well, maybe. No, I don't want to overdo it. I probably had at least 20 cups today. Are you positive this is, uh, this is a new recipe Mr. Addison was trying out? I already had three cups, and I thought it was way better than the other kind. I even... Oh, I have to try that. Give it here. God, he's like a fucking Neanderthal. Ah, oh, this is bad. This is better than his original. I don't know how he. Hello, fat bastard. Got the toy. Score. <laughs> oh, crap. No. Okay. Hey, detective. Hello, Sal. I think I know who did it. Have you been talking to that Larry boy? I can't put much faith in a teenager with a criminal record. Oh, I, uh, look. I appreciate you kids trying to help. I do. Unless you've got some sort of evidence, then please refrain from spreading rumors. I've got evidence. Let me see that. This came from Charlie's room. How did you get this? I was just saying hello to my new neighbors, you know, trying to introduce myself to everyone. I was in there talking to Charlie and was showing me all of his toys. That's when I noticed one had blood on it. thought for sure this would be helpful, so I grabbed it with my lunch bag. Well, well. A little detective in training, huh? <laughs> Not bad, kid. I'll hold on to this. Just remember next time, you come to us with this info instead of putting yourself at risk, okay? Yes, sir, you got it, even though you said not to listen to me. Fucking big nose. How big his goddamn nose is. Please don't post over this note. Thank. Oh no! A missing sandwich, guys! Hello, can I leave? But there's a missing sandwich! How could we go upstairs with a sandwich missing? Hello? Hold on, I want to go see if Charlie was arrested. Mm. 
Let's just steal the rest of his ponies. Just to piss him off. Nope. The floor is still wet. Hello, Lisa. Hey, Sal, what's up? I met Larry! Ah, oh, wonderful. I'm glad you kids got to meet. Me too. I'm glad to have a friend again. Larry's a nice guy. I knew you two would get along. Do you need any help? Are you poking fun at me for mopping the same spot for so long? Well, I like to be thorough, but to be honest, sometimes my mind, just wa my mind just wanders and I lose track of time. That's cool. I'm the same way. I could tell you're a creative type like my Larry. Glad you two are getting along. Sometimes I worry about him. What do you worry about? Oh, I shouldn't be bothering you with these stuff. Let's keep things positive. Elisa. Hey, Elisa. Hey, Bird of Christ! No, okay. Oh, no, we want to go to the basement. Play that any of these song again? Sure, man. Since y'all like it so much. <laughs> I got the toy! <laughs> Alright, Mr. Smooth Criminal. I knew you could do it. That's awesome. Thanks, man. I was nervous for a second there. I bet. Now all you have to do is give it to that detective and it will all be over. So is this place haunted or what? What? Not this again. Did Chug put you up to this? No, I just got a weird feeling about it. Who's Chug? He's the big kid on three. You just can't miss him. But anyways, I don't believe in ghosts. Never saw him with my own eyes, you know. Yeah, I guess so. Later. Oh yeah, I got the metalhead achievement. What's the metalhead achievement? Listen to Sanity's fall multiple times. Hell yeah! Sally face! <laughs> Larry face! We need batteries. Nope, nothing different. Alright, you want me to go back to three? Jehovah's Witness! Whoa, uh, hi. I'm Sal. You just moved in. You can call me Sally Face. Chuck, uh, nice to meet you, Sally Face. Nice meeting you, Chug. How did you get your nickname? Huh? What nickname? Uh, never mind. Do you think this building's haunted? Why, did you see something too? Yeah, I think so. Knew it. I'm, I knew I'm not crazy. Ha! <laughs> so you've seen that old man? Old man? No, I think that's just a crazy homeless dude that sleeps on up, up on five sometimes. But I did see lots of stuff, man. Crazy stuff than just the old bomb. Like things moving on by their own and weird noises and stuff, you know? I keep trying to tell everyone, but no one believes me. <laughs> well, I believe you. It's a prosthetic. <laughs> oh, thanks, Sally Face. Oh, I did see a girl once. Huh? A girl. I thought it was a ho it was homeless guy's daughter, but she just disappeared. That's why I use my key to lock the bathroom shut tight. It's too scary. Wait, you have a key to 504? Yep, found it on the ground. Let's go check it out together. No way, not going in there, man. Ghosts live there. How about you let me borrow the key and I'll check to make sure it's safe. Can't just give you the key, but... Maybe you can trade me something for it. You wanna trade? Let me buy the key. I could give you, uh... A quarter. Oh, man, heck yeah. Here, take it. That was easy. Jehovah's Witness. 
Would you like to see? Wait, what? Am I doing things you've never done before? Sweet. Hello? Would you like to speak to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? Oh. Uh, the power of Christ compels you. <laughs> Is anyone in here? It's okay. I won't hurt you. I'm a friend. You are? Yeah, sure, I guess. My name's Sally Face. Your name is funny. You're not scared of me, Sally Face? No, of course not. Okay, that's good. What are your pigtails in your hair? That's for girls, silly. Huh, <laughs> whoever said that only girls can wear their hair in pigtails? I like pigs, too. I never thought of that. You're funny, boy. Why were you crying before? Everyone always runs away from me when I try to talk to them. I get so lonely up here. I can understand that. I get lonely sometimes, too. It must be hard being by yourself. Well, I'm not really all alone. There are... Hello, little girl. Are you still here? Huh. The power of Christ compels you. The power of Christ. The power of Christ. Jug, what are you doing here, man? I asking myself the same question, dude. I thought you were too scared of this room. I am, but you were gone for so long. I need to check up on you, you know? Make sure the ghost didn't get you. Thanks, man. I'm okay. Nothing got me. Good. Good. So I was thinking, maybe you keep that key? I don't like coming up here anyway. You seem more into it, man. And this vibe. Do you hear the music? Do you hear it? Alright, I'll hold on to it, but you can borrow it anytime you want. Okay, deal. And now I will just lock the door and leave you in here. How crass? How did the fuck did he get around me? Chuck is also a ghost. Real story. Sal's actually in a coma and this is all a fever dream. Hello, power of Christ compels you. Hello. Hello. No. Hello. Let's see if we can get past Chug now. God, do you ever stop? Hey, Chug. Hi, Sally Face. All right, I guess we're going up to Dad. Unless we can go out the front door. Alright, let's go out the front door, man. I see you've made yourself at home, Gizmo. Must be nice. He looks more like a fox than a cat. Am I the only one who thinks that? He looks like a fox. An adorable fox. I like how, you know, uh, his face, that portion of his face there on the left side kind of matches Sally Face's face. What's the reference to? You know how, like, Sally Face's face has got that little break on the left side around the eye? Kind of like Gizmo? Anyway. Oh, yeah! He does look like Gizmo from Gremlins. Power of Christ! Good work today, Sal. You can rest easy now. I'm innocent, I swear. I thought you were my friend. I would have gotten away with it, too, if it wasn't for you pesky kids and your dumb face mask, too. It's like a Scooby-Doo villain. No one was around, so I looked into the back window of the van. Hmm. 
such a horrific sight for anyone to see, let alone a young child as you were. Fifteen years old, and already you had witnessed two gruesome scenes. It must have been very traumatic for you. Sure, I guess so. And all these years later, the new evidence that finally proved Charlie was falsely accused. After so much of his life spent behind bars, how did that make you feel? I'm not convinced it wasn't him. Yes, so you've said. What about Larry? What about him? Like I said, the guy was my best friend all through high school. And after high school? We've been over this. I lost touch with Larry after graduation. I don't know where he is now. He seemed to be upset by the men by my mention of him. I just don't know what good asking the same questions all the time is doing. I thought you were supposed to help me. I understand your frustration, Sal. I do. I want to help you, but you seem to be holding something back. Can't help you unless you're completely honest with me. Do you understand where I'm coming from? Yeah. Well, unfortunately, our time is up for today. Wait, I... It's about Larry. I'm sorry, Sal. You know how strict they are with the schedule. Please keep that thought for our next session. Next week will be our last meeting before your trial, so I hope you'll let me help you. I don't think you're a murderer, Sal. You might be the only one. <sighs> Sal, Sally, where are you? Don't wander so far, sweetie. I want to see the doggy, Mom. Can't you hear him? Why don't you wait until your father gets here, okay? He should be here any minute now. But I really want to see it. Please. Please, can I go pet the doggy? Oh, all right, Sal. Just give me a second to get my purse, then we can go together. Yay, I'll wait over by the trees. You know that moment where you got an itch and you just gotta keep scratching it and then suddenly you start bleeding but you still can't stop scratching it so you keep itching yourself? Hey guys, it's Shigaraki. Anyway, continuing on. Thank you so much for coming to help me with the toilet. <clears throat> no problem, Miss Anderson. I'll have it unclogged in no time. Wonderful. Herman normally would have taken care of it himself, but unfortunately his fingers have turned into banana peels. The street corner is just so dangerous. I understand. Thank you so much, Larry. The bathroom is just over there. Larry? But where's Sally face? There's no toilet in here, lady! Why is your bathroom so big? Where's your door, lady? There's an eyeball over there! Trippy! Da 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 da! Door. 
Pico, pico, pico. Anyway. You there? Please help me. What's wrong? The water, it stopped. So thirsty. Don't worry, I know how to fix this. Please hurry. Doop -a -doop -a -doop. Just gonna go jump. that do anything? I pushed it three times. Please, hurry. Moisturize me. Moisture. Moisturize me. Fuck! I wish I had this much of a vivid imagination. Unfortunately for me, I can't remember anything! Nor, um... Nor can I picture anything. It worked! I feel like something in the water is watching me. Gave me moisture. Into a fever dream. Sal, come closer. I have something to show you. I know you touched my pony. I thought we were friends, Sal. Now I have to touch something of yours. <laughs> <laughs> 